hi all welcome back to my youtube channel without wasting any of your time i would like to jump to the next question but i would also request you to please subscribe and like my channel and please share with your friends as well thank you very much let's jump to the next question the next question which we have is Savitra by Pule Pune University with, with which of the following has signed MOU to establish chair of excellence your options are listed below and the correct answer is Indian Air Force so the Indian Air Force entered into an academic collaboration and signed a memorandum of understanding with uh, Savitri by Pule Pune University and this MOU aimed to establish a chair of excellence at the Department of Defense and Strategic Studies. All right, moving to our next question. And the next question which we have in our list is Richard John Pius, who recently died at 51, was a writer of which language? And the correct answer is Konkani. Richard John Pius was a noted Konkani writer and a theatre personality and he died on March 1st after a brief illness. Um, he was 51 and he survived by a wife and two children. Moving to our next question and the next question says Kelo India University Games 2020 recently concluded in which city? Your options are there on your screen. And the correct answer is the capital of Orissa. Or you call it Odisha nowadays. Bhubaneswar. Kelo India University Games Odisha concluded in Bhubaneswar on March 1st. Moving to our next question. Which ministry has recently launched multilingual Incredible India website? This is an important question in the context of uh, the examinations so the correct answer is option b ministry of tourism and you can i'm sure you must have linked uh, this answer because incredible india this goes along with the ministry of tourism so ministry of tourism revamped the multilingual incredible india website designed to provide more information about india's tourist destinations attractions experiences and where the value lies moving to our next question this question is coming from the Maharashtra region who has been named new editor of Shiv Sena mouthpiece Samana your options are there on your screen and the correct answer is I'm sure you guys must have guessed it people from Maharashtra region it is option a Rashmi Thakre Rashmi Thakre, who is the wife of the current Chief Minister Uddhav Thakre, has been named the new editor of Shiv Sena mouthpiece Samna. Meanwhile, Sanjay Raut continues to be the executive director of the mouthpiece. Of the mouthpiece. Moving to our next question, which talks about which who inaugurated 2020 Pusa Krishi Vigyan Mela. You have the options on your screen and the correct answer is option C Narendra Singh Tomar the Union Minister for Agriculture and Farmers Welfare Rural Development and Panchati Raj Narendra Singh Tomar inaugurated the Pusa Krishi Vigyan Mela 2020 on March 1st this particular fair aimed at calling talent in agriculture here comes the next question it is it's it is a very important question in the context of uh, current affair current affairs uh, and it is pertaining to uh, the uh, the competitive examinations so the question is india recently backed us dollar dash defense deal with armenia and your options are listed below the correct answer is option d India won a 40 million defense deal to supply four indigenous, indigenously, indigenously built weapons locating radars to Armenia and Europe. 
Our next question is Acom Fest was recently inaugurated in which city? And the correct answer is option B. Union Minister of Social Justice and Empowerment Tawarchan Galod inaugurated the Inter Entrepreneurship Knowledge Awareness Marketing Acom Festival. The fest is being held from 28th February to 6th March in New Delhi, which is already finished. So this festival was inaugurated in the in, in the capital city of India, which is New Delhi. The next question, which is, which of the following won the Golden Bear for Best Film at Berlin International Film Festival? And your options are right there. And the correct, the correct op option is option A. There is no evil. This is a drama from Iran. Uh, this movie is a drama movie from Iran. And it is a powerful rebook to the brutal and repressive regime in Tehran. It has won the Golden Bear for Best Film at the 70th Berlin International Film Festival. Last question, which is there in the list, is OECD lowers its India's GDP growth forecast for 2020-21 to dash from the earlier projection of 6.2%. You need to guess. You need to answer, not guess, the correct option. And the correct option is option B, 5.1%. So the global agency OECD lowered its India GDP growth forecast to 5.1% from the earlier projection of 6.2% for 2020 on concerns of impact of deadly coronavirus, which is COVID-19 on domestic as well as the global economy. India is a member of G20, a group of developed and developing economies. So that, that is the end uh, for our today's video. I will come back with the next set of important questions. Till, till then, I would take your leave and I'll talk to you later. Have a good day. Goodbye.